presenting the Uplinks Auto Provisioning System for Cisco Unified Communications. Uplinks Auto Provisioning synchronizes end user configurations with Microsoft Active Directory and automatically creates fully functional end user setups. This includes creating full CUCM end users, creating associated device profiles and services for login, auto allocating extensions from an established site range, and notifying end users by email. We're going to show you how this happens in three main steps. For this example, we'll be creating a profile in Cisco Extension Mobility. First, we'll create a new user in Active Directory. Then we'll show you how Uplinks Auto Provisioning creates all required configuration items, either automatically or after approval. And finally, the user will log in to Extension Mobility. After that, we'll show how easy it is to introduce modifications. Step 1. We log into Active Directory and create a new user. The user is created. Note that no telephone number is assigned. Step 2. For this example, we're going to log into the Uplink service platform to manually start change detection. Uplink's auto provisioning system is now checking with Active Directory to detect any changes. One new user has been found and is waiting for approval to be integrated into Cisco Extension Mobility. The system sends an email to the site administrator who can now log into the Uplinks provisioning system and approve the job. Once logged into this Uplink service platform and before approving the job, the site admin can change the extension of the templates used to define the user in Cisco Extension Mobility. Let's submit that job. So now it's been submitted. Let's view the job status. In under six seconds, the system has created a new extension. It has created the UDP and the call manager and user object. It has set the voicemail and all roles and privileges for the end user. Let's go back to Active Directory where we can see the new user extension has been added. The system has also sent an email notification to the site administrator with a full log of all changes. Step 3. We're finished. The user is ready to go and can now use their phone. The system sends an email to the user with instructions for the new phone, including user ID and PIN. We're going to use Uplink's remote phone control tool to log in to a phone remotely and check that user configuration on a phone on a remote site. We access the device and log the new user into the phone. The phone resets and displays the new profile. All functionality is there. Let's place a call. OK, all good. We can log out. With the user profile created and ready in Extension Mobility, it's easy to make changes when required. In the following example, we'll change the phone extension using the Uplink service platform. In the Uplink service platform, we select the remote site where the user's profile is deployed and the operation we would like to perform. In this case, it's an update. We search for the user. The console brings up all associated objects. In this case, we have a CUCM user object, a device profile, and the voicemail on Unity Connection. Now, we change the extension. All objects related to this extension have been updated, such as the primary extension, Active Directory, telephony field, and the telephone field of the user. We're now going to submit the job. While the job is being submitted, we are going to bring in our Uplinks phone control tool once more so that we can see these changes being applied. As you can see, the new extension is active. Eventually, a user may leave the organization and the user profile will be deleted from Active Directory. When that happens, Change Tracker will detect that action and suggest a job to delete all associated telephony objects from Cisco Extension Mobility. 
the site administrator receives an email to tell them to act. The site admin can now log in to the Uplink service platform and submit the delete action. Finally, an email is sent to the admin to confirm job completion. Thank you for watching this presentation of the Uplink's auto provisioning feature for Cisco Extension Mobility. You can find more information on our website at uplinks.com and you can use the contact form to get in touch.